Jeff, can you just kind of uh, assess uh, your performance today for us, please? Yeah, I mean, as, a, as an offense, we were behind the six too much. Um, it's hard to uh, it's hard to come back from, you know, longer down in distances, especially with the front like that. Uh, we knew they were going to play aggressive on defense, which they did. And uh, we just didn't make enough plays. So personally, I didn't make enough plays either. Thanks, everyone, Alan. Yeah, hey, Jeff, you have that two-minute drive to end the first half and then come back and can't get anything going. What were they doing defensively that caused some issues? I mean, they were moving around. They were bringing guys. Um, nice. Um, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's something that it's we got to sure up, uh, starting, starting on my end with communication on some of those, um, getting the ball off, throwing some of them away. So, I mean, it, protection is a, is a team issue and, uh, the communication has to be better. And, uh, you know, the quarterback has to be the one doing that. Next one, Brandon Castell. Jeff, I know it's tough whenever you get benched. Uh, what do you think about how Brett did? And it's a short week, but there's obviously going to be you know, the three of you up uh, until coach makes a decision. So how, what's going through your head as far as that goes? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it is tough. Um, you know, as a competitor, you want to be out there, you want to finish the game. But, uh, you know, coach made a decision and we, went, and we rolled with it. And um, Brett put together a good drive. I was, um, you know, happy to see that. Um, and uh, yeah, so he, he put together a nice drive there. Um, would, have, would have liked to see the offense come up with, with points there, but he did put together a nice drive. Thanks, Eric Dwyer. Jeff, how comfortable do you feel with changing protections right now in the scheme when that's necessary? Yeah, I mean, that's that's something that we work on throughout the whole week. Um, and it's something that, you know, we do we do a lot. It's something that you have to do with all the with all the looks that uh, teams give you in this league, especially a team like that. And um, yeah, I mean, there was there was a couple that I missed there, um, but I, I feel comfortable with it. Next one, Jeff Weibold. Jeff, I'm just wondering, when, when you say you want to move the ball more quickly, what, what are some keys for you to do that? I mean, it's just it's getting the ball out on time. It's, you know, getting it into your playmaker's hands. And, uh, you know, some of, the, some of those sacks, you know, some stuff breaks down, you know, just, just toss it away so you don't get behind the sticks and put your play caller in a tough, tough position. Guys, a reminder, please use the lower your hand if you no longer have a question. Next one, Brandon. Yeah, I guess, Jeff, to, to follow up, because uh, you answered the Brett part of the question, can you think at all about the idea that Coach may let Brett start or Blake or, you know, especially with the short week? Are you going to spend any time thinking about it or just wait till he tells you something? No, I'm not going to think about that. I'm going to go in and I'm going to watch this game, clean it up, and, and move on to the Jets because we play um, on Thursday night. It's going to come quickly. I'm going to prepare like the starter. I'm going to do everything I can. And, um, you know, I hope to be out there. I expect to be out there, but um, not my decision. Final two, Arnie and Troy. Hey, Jeff, I know you never want to take a sack, but can you just walk us through that safety there where Shaq Hill Barrett got you? Yeah, I mean, we were, again, it's, it's, we were behind the sticks. Um, we, we called a play where there was, there was a chance to get it out quickly. Um, and they were, they were in soft coverage and, and they brought a bunch of guys. So you just got to find a way to be able to get the ball out. Um, and when, you know, sometimes things break down, you, just, you still just got to find a way there. And, and I didn't do that. Final one, Troy. Jeff, how do you guys avoid, you know, when you get into this 0-3 trap, how do you avoid, you know, trying not to get demoralized, trying not to look too far ahead? I mean, I think we have the character in that locker room um, to be able to move forward, and that's that's part of this league is there's going to be some um, stretches that, that don't go the way you want them to, but it is a long season, and there's a lot of – or there's a, plenty more games for us to get back on track, and we expect to do that Thursday night. But um, I think the character in that locker room is going to take over. Brad, I guess, how surprised were you to uh, get told there late in the game you're going to go in and then kind of just take us through your performance? And do you think you've got a shot to start Thursday now? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say, uh, um, you know, I was surprised. I was, you know, I've been preparing like I'm, you know, ready to go at any time. And so, um, you know, whenever you have your number called, you got to be ready to go. Um, and uh, the drive went pretty well. Um, you know, obviously wanted to finish it there, uh, bet it better there on fourth and one. Um, you know, I tried to look that safety off, and he didn't really move. And then I thought I could fit it in there to Jerry, and obviously he made a pretty good play on it. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's uh, it was good to get in there, though. Next up, Ron Allen. Hey, Brett, follow up on that going no huddle on that drive. How much did that help you settle in quicker? Yeah, it was it was nice. You know, I uh, you know kind of saw it from the pictures and stuff that you know they were bringing a lot of different pressures and different things like that. So. Um, you know, my t mentality was just, you know, try to get it out as quickly as possible, you know, to open guys because, uh, you know, they're playing zone in the back end there. So, um, 
you know, I thought, like I said, I thought the drive went pretty well. It was getting nice to get going in, uh, in two minute there. And, um, you know, just wish we could have finished it a little better. Uh, Brett, slightly off topic, but I'm just curious if you knew that your uncle played in Tom Brady's first career start. I did not know that. Um, that's, that's a crazy coincidence, though. Next up, Arnie Stapleton. Yeah, Brett, can you, can you walk us through that, uh, that interception? Uh, he made a, a terrific one-handed grab. Did you, did you see Judy open? What did you see it from your end? Yeah, so we were running like a, you know, um, a little slant play over the middle. And, um, you know, it's usually good versus man coverage, especially when you're getting pressure. Um, you know, when you get down to the red zone, though, obviously the safeties are going to play low. And uh, he was kind of just sitting right in the middle of the field. So I tried to look him off. Uh, you know, when I came back to him, I thought I had a chance to fit it in there, Jerry. Um, and he just made a good play. He made a great catch. Thanks, up, Brad, it's been kind of a dizzying ride. You're, you know, a practice squad to back up to end the game. And now coach didn't rule you out starting. Do you think you have a chance, a case to start? I mean, how do you approach that on a short week? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, obviously up to them. Um, you know, up to the coaching staff. I don't really have any control in that. But, um, you know, whatever they decide, I'll be ready for sure. Guys, as a reminder, please use the lower your hand function if you no longer have a question. Next one, Andrew Mason. Brett, a lot of young quarterbacks talk about the speed of the game being different. Now, you've obviously played in the preseason, but how was the speed out there compared to your preseason work last year? Yeah, it was fast. I mean, I think, uh, you know, I think last year was more of an adjustment for sure, um, you know, coming from college to the preseason in the NFL. And, you know, you're just trying to get, uh, you know, trying to learn the offense. You're not really focused on what they're doing on defense. So, um, you know, coming into year two, I think, uh, you know, I've made some big strides as far as, um, you know, understanding defense is better, um, you know, knowing when to get the ball out um, and, uh, you know, take advantage of, of, of different things that I see. Final one, Brandon. All right, Brett, when you look back at this, you know, decades from now, are you going to remember that you were eight for eight to start your NFL career or the pick in the end zone or both? Probably the pick. I think, you know, it, it, it ended in a uh, – in a pick there on fourth down. So, um, you know, I wish, wish we could have had that one back and got the touchdown there for sure.